This video will demonstrate the proper use of the AFL Apex Advanced Fiber Retention System AFRS for loose tube applications. All parts of the AFRS are shown here, but only item number two and item number six are needed for loose tube applications in any Apex splice closure. The parts needed are the V-clip base and cover attached and the retention pads, which are shipped in sheets of eight pieces per sheet. Confirm the V-clip cover is secured on the base. Bring the V-clip at a 45 degree angle with a large tab at the bottom to the splice tray entrance, aligning the two reference tabs of the clip with complete holes on the splice tray. Rotate clip up until it snaps in place to secure it. These V-clips may be installed in up to four locations on the Apex splice trays. Open the cover of the V-clip, slightly squeezing the base if needed. Ensure cover is engaged and V-clip is free from contamination. Remove one piece of the retention pad. Starting from the outside edge of the sheet, peel back towards the center, ensuring adhesive is on the retention pad. Align it on the base of the clip and press onto the base adhesive side down by setting one edge in place and then the second edge. This will cause the pad to rise in the center. Compress the center of the pad to adhere to the bottom of the V-clip. Ensure all buffer tubes are clean and free of contamination. The tubes must lay flat on the lower pad with the upper retention pad installed properly on the cover, fully engaged when closed. Remove another retention pad, place it on top of the buffer tubes, adhesive side down. Set one edge in place, then the second edge, causing the center to rise. Compress the center to adhere to the buffer tubes. Close and fully engage cover on clip latch. Make sure the tubes do not extend beyond the inside curve of the splice tray, as noted in the instructions. The installation is completed by securing the tubes to the basket with supplied Velcro or tie wraps. 